guys welcome to my channel my name is wolo just like i usually introduce myself and the spelling is w-o-l-o -O. don't mind me i like to be excited when i am creating videos and creating content that are useful for people planning to come to canada and um need any information concerning life in canada so today i will be talking about the changes some changes that are happening in some provinces and for people planning to immigrate to this area, you should be aware of these new changes. The first change is um, the minimum wage for British Columbia, yes. British Columbia, they will be increasing the minimum wage to $14.60, which is a good thing if you plan to land in British Columbia and you happen to see a job that is going to be paying minimum wage, just know that it is now $14.60. But of course, Vancouver is expensive, so you should also be aware that um, that money cannot go in terms of expenses um, and the lifestyle and cost of living in Vancouver. The second change is in Alberta. Alberta is introducing the carbon tax and um, effective this year, Anybody who lives in Alberta can actually file for the carbon tax rebate and they can get some monies back from the government. So it's a good thing, but of course, there's also cost implications in terms of buying gas and in terms of um, some other things that has to do with carbon. So that's another change for Alberta. So for Saskatchewan, anybody planning to live in Saskatchewan, immigrating to Saskatchewan, I know I know some subscribers have actually gotten their nomination from Saskatchewan. So this information is for you. If you plan to live in Saskatchewan, just know that there is a new rule concerning distracted driving. If you're driving in Saskatchewan, you have to pay attention. You should not be distracted. If you are caught being distracted, you will be fined and you will be paying as much as um, $580 for first time. Uh, if it's a first time offense, you will pay $580 for distracted driving. So for new immigrants planning to live in Saskatchewan, please be aware that there is a rule concerning distracted driving. First offense, $580. Second offense, $1,400. I mean, as a new immigrant, you don't want to be paying that money. $1,400 is so much money and you should not be distracted when you are driving. So it will be effective February 1, 2020. And yeah, so be aware of this. So for Ontario, um, people planning to land in Ontario, this is something new. Um, they have decided to remove the out of country health insurance coverage and what they used to have before for anybody who has the Ontario health insurance um, card that's the OHIP and if you travel let's say you go on a vacation and you fall sick you have an emergency you treat yourself you can get $400 if it's an emergency um, if it's an outpatient treatment you can get $50 back from OHIP but now they've scrapped it because it's expensive so if you travel you cannot get um, out of country medical insurance coverage it is no longer covered and so you should be aware of that so that's for Ontario then for Nova Scotia they've banned plastic bag the use of plastic bag you know Canada is very conscious of the environment the emissions they are trying to like go into green energy and all that so they are making efforts in the use of petroleum products like plastic bags and if you go to do shopping in most of the grocery stores if you want them to put your items in a plastic bag it is not free you can in manitoba we pay five cents if you're going to use a plastic bag they will usually ask you to if you want them to put your items in a plastic bag and they will charge you five cents for a plastic bag for one plastic bag so if you're buying items and you're going to put it in like 10 plastic bags they can charge you five cents on each of the plastic bags you're going to use and so for nova scotia they are banning it and um they don't want to use plastic bags it means you have to buy a grocery bag that you can be using to do your shopping that is recyclable you can always use it all the time which is even better um i myself i have so many of them i have so many grocery bags i buy and you can get cheaper ones from the dollar store you have dollar rama dollar tree they have all these ones one dollar um bags that you can use whenever you want to go for your grocery shop you just use it whenever you are shopping instead of paying five cents per 
um, plastic bag. So Nova Scotia, they are banning it. It is also banned in Newfoundland and Labrador and also Prince Edward Island. So they are banning plastic bags. So these are the changes and new rules that are applicable to most of the provinces. And I am sharing this information to anybody who is already planning to immigrate to either of these places so that you can be aware and yeah so just stick to the rules especially for those who have gotten their nomination in saskatchewan please don't be fined for distracted driving be aware you don't want to be spending 580 dollars paying for um, a ticket on distracted driving yeah so that's it for today thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video Bye bye